Yes, and today marks one month since union workers at Eaton Corporation voted to go on strike. About 350 local members of the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers are still on the picket line despite company threats to permanently replace them. And as News 8 Shelby Kluber now explains, this strike shows no signs of any stoppage. It's first tonight on News 8 at 6. It's a St. Patrick's Day picket line. Friday will mark one month since the IAM strike officially began at Eaton Corporation's Davenport facility. So far, a third contract vote doesn't look any closer. But there are a few changes on the line in the form of some new signs. Eaton has now hung these giant banners just above strikers' heads. They're advertising for open jobs, trying to permanently replace union members on strike. While we were out filming, this bus pulled up. Members say it's used to shuttle some of those replacements to and from Eaton. Down on the line, employees have a few signs of their own. This one laying out the alleged health care benefits Eaton is offering. According to workers, an emergency room visit under Eaton's proposed contract would cost $1,000 out of pocket. Members say under their old system, that same visit would only be $50. IAM officials have not verified those numbers. Another hand-painted sign diving into the money Eaton is making. According to the company's own fourth quarter earnings report, it made more than $19.5 billion in sales in 2021. Globally, Eaton saw a 40% increase in aerospace sales over the past few months, and the company attributes nearly all of that increase to this facility in Davenport and these workers. Now, union members are betting on being too valuable and too technically trained to be replaced. And after one month, these strikers say they'll keep holding the line. In Davenport, Shelby Coover, WQAD News 8. And according to union leaders we talked to, virtual negotiations resumed this past Tuesday. Neither side has confirmed if those talks are still going on. In-person bargaining expected to begin again this upcoming Tuesday.